just because it's called the whole family does not mean that we are whole. <laughs> so that's, that's the aspiration. You have a new book that just came out. It's called The Whole and Healthy Family. Yes. And I want to talk about what the whole family is. Let's start there. Kind of identify that for me. What do you mean when you say the whole family? And then we'll dissect that a little bit. Well, I definitely, I start the book out just saying, just because it's called the whole family does not mean that we are whole. Uh (laughs) So that's, that's the aspiration. Um, I know Jesus, you know, was charging his apostles to love the Lord God, you know, in Luke, I believe it is with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength and with all your soul. And I just love the holistic aspect of that. He didn't just say, love the Lord God with all your heart. And he included other parts of their being, you know, and I think it's important to recognize that children are whole beings. They don't just have a brain where we shove information into their mind and they don't just have a heart where we're always attentive to emotions and they don't just have a soul where everything is strictly spiritual. Um, They have all of that working together at all times and Um, In order to have a holistic approach, we're kind of tending to those needs, those developmental needs that they have, whether they're physical, mental, or spiritual, um, all the while that they're under our home and our roof. And so the heart comes from just a place of recognizing that our children are whole beings and they have very specific needs physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah. 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 I love that. I've never thought of that scripture in that context before that it's all those parts that make the whole being, but you're absolutely right. So let's then dig into each of those individual parts. So let's first talk about the mental part. Okay. So it's, it's broken into three sections and there's a few, you know, chapters per section. And and in the whole mind section, we talk about awareness of, um, personality of gifts of communication style, of love languages. And some of those may be, um, you know, relationship 101, as far as how to connect with your children in a very specific way. But in other ways, I think specifically maritally, is that a word? (laughs) It is now. (laughs) If you say it on the podcast, it becomes a real word. (laughs) There you go. Let's just add that to the dictionary. Sounds good. (laughs) In our marriage, my husband and I had, you know, his parents were really into healthy marriages and conferences and books and different things. And every time we would open up a marriage book, it was so foreign to us because we were actually very opposite of what all of these marriage books were saying, you know, like the man wants respect and the woman wants to be cuddled. And I was like, I don't want to be cuddled, but I do want respect. So I don't understand what's going on here. And so a lot of times there would just be this like disconnect and not necessarily in our marriage, but in what we thought a marriage should be. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until we started discovering who each other was, what motivated them, how God made us, our personalities, our character traits. It wasn't until we started kind of um, learning about each other through personality tests and different tools out there that we were really able to appreciate each other for who God made us, Mm -hmm. that we were able to kind of identify some of like our own weaknesses and sinful tendencies. Um, It was this kind of self-awareness. Now, I know in the Christian world, sometimes that can get too much, you know, too much self-discovery or sure. or going down that path as an excuse. But when you can use it as a tool to really connect with your husband and understand your husband so that you can best serve him and be his helpmate, that to me was kind of mind blowing. And that, that did more for our marriage, learning our own personal motivations and um, natural bents the way that, you know, God made us way more than this, like, well, this is what a man is like, and this is what a woman is like, and this is how you make it work, you know? Yeah. So that's kind of, we talk a little bit about that in the first section of just communication. We talk about having a healthy um, sexual culture within the home. I think it's super important, especially with all of the um, devices that are out there and exposure that our kids can have to pornography and all different other dangerous elements online 
to just have a really open communication in the household from a young age so yeah. that nothing's taboo and everything's out in the open and children understand sex by God's design, not by something they saw on the internet. So I go into having a healthy sexual culture and what that means for the mind and how the mind can process um, certain things as they get older. And I also talk a little bit about simplicity and just kind of creating a home environment that allows children to thrive. And a lot of times that's by simplifying what's within your home by removing extra traffic, whether that's visual or actual sound traffic or um, just extra stuff, excess um, that can cause kind of a tense home environment. Yeah. So we, we go into kind of the science of, of why simplicity matters sometimes. So yeah. that's kind of the mind section. And okay. then it goes into the body and we talk about food and health and wellness and fitness and exercise and just um, the way that God created our bodies and how they respond to natural remedies. So that's a, a fun, a fun section just because that has been something, a long journey that we've been on and continue to be on and are always learning about. Yeah. And so I kind of try to share a little bit of that for parents who don't know much about, um, you know, nurturing a child through food and um, just natural remedies. So the third section is whole spirits. And we just talk about being a biblically grounded family, um, mm -hmm. serving the community, looking for opportunities to serve as a family, not just dad going out to help with firewood, but the whole family gets involved. And we have from a very young age brought our kids with us to all different serving opportunities. And people are always so surprised, but also so blessed to see little ones out there helping. And we talk about the power of words, the words of affirmation we speak over our children, and really just listening to the Holy Spirit through parenting and that it's possible to parent with the help of the Holy Spirit. I mean, that's, he Amen. was sent to be our helper. And so how he can help us through this process. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 